This is Twit. All right. I will start out with my pick of the week. And this is a very interesting product from, I will say, a very interesting person um, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> definitely can knows how to get attention at least. But this is a new smart speaker from Kanye West that's specifically just for playing. I didn't realize this at first, but I think it's just for playing his new album that's coming out, Donda. Donda, I don't, I don't actually know. I'm not actually up to date with anything trendy that Kanye is doing, but I just saw this come through and I thought it was fascinating because part of it is it's a stem player, which for if people don't know, when you record music, you record all the different tracks separately and mix them into the one song. Stems are those individual tracks that sometimes people like release so that you can either like listen without the drums or without the vocals and things like that. And so this is a like a Bluetooth speaker with, with, I don't even understand, I guess I assume they're buttons, um, but you can like turn up and down the stem on the left or the right and control how you're listening to the entire album. So I just thought this was a fascinating use of that technology combined with the actual hardware itself. Um, I don't think most services you can get stems from songs or anything like that. And there is, there is like some crazy tech that I think it's there. I think it's the DJ app, D J A Y. I think it can listen to songs and like separate the tracks for you. It's one of those things where they're like, it works. And I'm like, okay, but I don't understand how that works mm. with audio. Like my mm. brain is just like, no, that's, but sure. I guess if it does, then I believe you. Um, so I, I thought this originally was like a stem player for any, music like that but uh this is just for his thing it's kind of, it's a bit of a stunt but also if you are a major Kanye West fan you probably would get it or something like that um I, I'm not I'm not so certain that it's not for anything I'm looking at the, yeah, the verge um the verge whatever write up on it and it says here it supports a wide range of music formats a oh. m4a mp3 wave aac mp4 alac and um, and what you were talking about as far as separating, see, I, I love music technology. I'm a huge fan of music technology. Well, yeah. I write music for years. So this kind of stuff I, I get super nerdy on. Um, there are, um, from what I understand, the, 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 the site for this, the stemplayer.com site allows you to feed in a song and get the oh, different wow. stems out of it. So, so it is doing the analysis of these songs to as best as possible separate things like bass, drums, vocals, and accompaniment into their own stems that you can then load into this player and and mess around with it. Um, super cool. interesting. Is is there a price on this? I I don't know I that think I. It's two hundred. Is it two hundred? Yeah. Okay. That's, I mean. Yeah, I'd, I, I'm very curious about this. I mean, I saw some of the demos and everything. I'm like, oh, that's that's really neat. I wonder, like, with music technology like this, it's always interesting when it comes out because it's like, okay, this is different than what we've seen before. How is this going to be used? And it's like a year down the line, you start to see there's like a handful of people that like dedicated themselves to being like the pros of this thing. <laughs> and they just do amazing stuff with it. You're like, okay, now I get it. Now I understand why this exists. Uh, super neat though. I love, I love anything that um, in the music technology space that kind of takes what exists and makes kind of a new paradigm out of it. And this really yeah. seems to be, it's almost like a live performance. It's like performance mixing and, and by yeah. mixing, not like DJ mixing. It's like, perfor it's like performance mixing, mix boarding. <laughs> I don't know what you want to yeah. call it because it's taking four different stems, you know, essentially a four track recorder or four track mix and allowing you to adjust the volume of each of the different ones. And, you know, in, uh, relation to each other or maybe put effects on the on the vocals and put a delay on there or something like that and do it in the palm of your hand so i'm interested i'd be i'd be totally down to play around with this and see uh see what it's like and see the quality of of how it strips out all the independent music aspects yeah. of, of songs i think i originally assumed that it did all this the music stripping and then i was like no that's dumb they couldn't they couldn't get away with that <laughs> i assumed it was just their stuff but like i use um epidemic sound for youtube videos which, and they provide 
I think they have stems for every single song that's on their service. Um, and I could just oh, imagine I like, I don't know. It's like not easy to sample that and listen to what it actually sounds like without downloading it all and setting it up. So if you could just have kind of a player and be like, oh, this song is really good. This could work well for my video or whatever. If I didn't have that part and just like take it out while you're still listening and stuff like that, I and maybe I could actually like see using it. So I think that uh, why does he have to do it? It had to be just like a weird tan soft skin look i think that's what it does, <laughs> i mean it's very does have a strange it, look to it it looks like skin it's i was so gonna say it's, it's kind like, of fleshy <laughs> <laughs> well, it matches all of his other like high high concept clothing i'd say like the shoes that look like a sponge or something like that um, um, it, so it it's, is very fleshy looking though it is kind of strange <laughs> from that perspective. it's not without its kanye quirks no. <laughs> For sure. But, it, but it's neat. Um, there are sites that do the vocal re removing thing um, that I know that DJs and uh, remixers use a lot. One site is called vocalremover.org. Another one's called lalal.ai. And a lot of them right now, like you, you go to the site and you just give it any song. And the no. AI has been trained thus it, or so that it can analyze the music and know kind of how to extract the the vocals know the kind of like frequency magic that it can do in order to make the mu make the vocals go away and give you an instrumental or make the music go away and give you the vocals and it's never perfect but it's good enough mm -hmm. for something like this it's it's good enough i didn't even yeah. okay so i just looked up it is i bet it's through the same type of thing but the dj the people algorithm wow that's a hard yeah Algorithm. Say. Yeah, Al algorithm. <laughs> it sounds yep. like I'm slurring it. Um, but that's they have a they have a whole app called Neural Mix Pro now that you can actually do this in real time too. So that's cool. I didn't realize they oh, put okay. it like that far. So we'll have to uh, separate we can separate the podcast back into <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. But I mean it does uh, audio mixing is one of those weird things, and even explaining it doesn't I don't know. Like it, it really did throw me off. And I, I just recently learned about how to just boost your vocal mix. And it uh -huh. is wild when you look at the waveform and really do understand that there is just certain sounds that come in at certain levels and you can just turn the volume up or down and then you don't hear that. And so if yeah. they're just isolating all the guitar or hits specific ranges and stuff, plus right. uses machine learning to balance it out. So yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah, and this stuff has come a really long way. Um, there yeah. was a there was a piece of software um, that I've used for many years uh, called Melodyne, and it's for you know it's specific to music production. Uh, it's not like a DJ tool necessarily, but um, its its whole idea is you you can feed it music, and it will and if there's like if you feed it like an orchestra part and this is a, like a, an extreme example but you could give it an orchestra piece of music and it has the potential to analyze the music and say all right the cello is playing these notes and put it on a bar the, wow. the flute is playing these notes and put it on a bar and give you like all of those controllable so then i can go into a digital audio workstation and grab that note that the flute's playing and say no flute i want you to play this note and it's like mind blowing what this stuff can do now. Hmm. It's it's doing they're doing stuff and it's so easily now. Like those two sites I, I read I I mentioned, like those are free sites that anyone can go to and just throw a piece of music in and very easily do this. Twenty years ago, you couldn't do this stuff. Like it just wasn't possible, and it yeah. and it seemed like magic. It seemed like black magic if anyone was ever to say, oh by the way, just feed the song in there and I'll give you the vocals immediately. Like you had to hunt for uh for these acapellas you know in order to do a remix or whatever so <laughs> uh, the fact that you're able to do this and put it on a tiny little flesh colored puck in your hand uh now <laughs> so easily is pretty interesting <laughs> Thank, thanks kanye west <laughs> yeah thank you for that kanye appreciate it uh that's cool though i'm totally saving that for later it's only if you really want the full studio thing it's only 700 dollars. no but the the base oh, the model is 100 bucks or something or melodyne Oh, Melodyne. Yeah, Melodyne yeah. can, I bet be, it's can be a little pricey. Yeah, it's, oh, it's cool, pricey, though. but it's also very powerful. Yeah. I'll have to try out the DJ app.